Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi and we continue with our topic of discussion and the topic is classification 2. So today we are going to discuss class monocotyledonae. So class monocotyledonae, uh, they are those uh, what we commonly referred to as monocotyledonous plants. And uh, these are the plants uh, whose uh, seeds have an embryo consisting of only one cotyledon. So their characteristics One is that uh, seeds have an embryo consisting of one cotyledon, e.g. maize. And of course the grass family or the grasses. So they have one uh, cotyledon within the embryo of the seed. Uh, you can also distinguish them in terms of the leaves. The leaves are long and narrow. They have long and narrow leaves. In terms of the venation types of veins, they have parallel veins. They have parallel veins. In terms of the roots, they have a fibrous root system. They have a fibrous root system. Uh, in terms of the stem, they are vascular bundles. are scattered within the ground tissue of the stem. The vascular bundles are scattered within the ground tissue of the stem. They lack cambium Hence, they have no secondary growth. They have no secondary growth. In terms of their flowers, floral parts, that is the petals and the sepals, are in threes. or multiples of three. Floral parts are in threes or multiples of three. Three, six, nine. Uh, that is how the petals and the sepals are arranged. Uh, in terms of the, the vascular bundles in the root, uh, the vascular bundles are arranged in a ring. In a ring around the pith in roots. But in stem, the vascular bundles are scattered within uh, the ground uh, tissue. So having uh, discussed the class monocotyledonae and uh, dicotyledonae, uh, we are going to discuss the, the comparison. We'll have a comparison or basically the difference. 
then monocotyledonae. Dicotyledonae have two cotyledons in their embryo, in their seed embryo, but monocotyledonae they have one cotyledon in their seed embryo. In terms of the roots, the dicotyledonae have taproot system. The monocotyledonae have fibrous root system. More differences. Number three, the dicotyledonae in terms of uh, the leaves have network veins. In the case of monocotyledonae, the leaves have parallel veins. In terms of the flowers, dicotyledonae, the floral parts are in four or fives, or they are multiples. But in the case of uh, monocotyledonae, the floral parts are in threes or they are multiples. Number five difference uh, in terms of the leaves are short, dicotyledonae, and broad. Monocotyledonae, the leaves are long and narrow. So you'll be able to get more differences from the characteristics that we have just identified. So the differences can be in terms of the leaves, in terms of the stem, in terms of the roots, and in terms of the seeds. So note that... Uh, uh, a learner can be asked to give the differences in terms of the leaves only, for instance, or in terms of the roots only, or in terms of the stem. So the first question state two differences between the stem of classes dicotyledonae and monocotyledonae. So two differences in terms of the stem. Two, state two characteristics of leaves of class monocotyledonae. So two features of leaves in terms of uh, the class monocotyledonae. So we'll stop there until next time. Goodbye. <music> Thank you.